It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. In the name of Jesus. It's mine. It's mine. Hello, Mike. How are you? John, are you okay? Yes. Yes, I'm okay. Baby, I've been calling you since morning. You've not picked up. Why? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was having my morning devotion. It's 1 p.m. 1 p.m.? Oh. I've been praying since 6 a.m. I'm sorry. What are you even praying about? Our ministry. The assignment the Lord gave to us. You know Caleb in the Bible. He claimed the mountain when it was very old. I don't want to wait until I'm old before I claim this mountain. I want the mountain now. This mountain is mine. It's mine. Okay, I'll be praying for you. Thank you. What are you doing? Mm. I'm watching my favorite Telemundo TV series, Red Roses. Do you know that Roberta and Juliana are finally getting married? Oh, that's great. Wonderful. Hope they have gone to the marriage committee for further counseling. What? Yes, so I invite them to do that because that's the only condition they are going to allow them to conduct their wedding in this church. I'm confused. What is the problem? Roberto and Juliana, they are the central characters of a TV series. Uh, oh. Who do you think they were? I, I thought they were members of our church. John, you promised me you would watch this now. How many episodes have you watched? Sister Debbie, to, to be honest with you, I've been quite busy. So busy that you don't have time to honor my request. It's so sad. The whole season passed and you couldn't even watch one episode. The most annoying part is that you're going to miss the wedding of Roberto and Juliana. Debbie. Okay, when you see them, let me apologize to them. The, the fact is, they are more important things to deal with. So I'm not important. You are. Roberto is not important. Debbie. Juliana is not important. Everyone is important to the Lord. You think I'm childish. You think I'm disturbing you. If you can't honor simple requests like this, how will you honor the main ones when we get married? Debbie, remember we have assignments. Remember we have commitments. We both decided we are going to read the Bible from back to back this year, of which I'm lagging behind. Even the vision for the teenage girls has been dormant, and you have an important part to play. If all this assignment are not executed, there is no way we have time to attend the wedding of Emboda Roberto and Sister Juliana. Eh? It's okay. Those things are much more important than these childish movies I'm forcing you to watch. It's obvious you pay little or no priority to the things we share together. Debbie, don't talk like that. I think I need to find my place and stick there. Your place is right here with me. Then why do you keep talking like I'm currently minded, like I'm a non-believer? Debbie, I have never implied that. I need to understand that the lives of Roberto and Juliana is much more than a story. It's something I need us to key into. Their journey signifies hope in God and faith in love. Okay. Debbie, I promise I'm going to watch that movie with you at a much later time. It's okay, John. I forgive you. Oh, thank you very much. You know what, Debbie? As I was praying this morning, the Holy Spirit impressed on my heart some wonderful prayer plans. I'm listening. That we need to pray about. So you know what you do for me? Take your Bible and your diary and write this prayer plans. The very important we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I break into my breakthroughs. I storm into my progress. I shall arise and I shall be called blessed. Forces of darkness trying to hinder our vision. Die by fire. 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 Forces of darkness against our vision. Die by fire. So sorry. You know, I've been praying on the assignment that God gave to me for the students. And by the grace of God, I, I figured out a name, Ray of Hope Foundations. That sounds good. So I drew out the outline for the assignment and I want you to be the main speaker for the first edition because I know you'll be able to connect with the students easily. I will only connect with what I have passion for easily. What do you mean? 
It's your passion, not mine. We're in this together. No doubt, we are. I'm with you behind the scenes. So don't put me on the center stage, okay? Okay. Thank you. My mom called yesterday. How is she? She's fine. She can't wait to see you. They are getting things set for the introduction. I've missed her. How about your parents? What about them? Are they getting ready? Are we getting ready? Oh, yes, we are. I'm not just talking about the family introduction. So what are you talking about? I'm talking about life after the wedding. Do we have enough to sustain us? We have more than enough. Really? We have God. Take God away from the equation. God is the central part of this equation. We can't remove him. He is the foundation with which we are laying this marriage upon. There we go again. What? Talking to me like I'm a non-believer. You are not a non-believer. Then let's communicate on the same frequency. Which other frequency have we been communicating? Maybe the problem is with me. Why are you always like this? Any little talk you get emotional. Maybe my salvation is it based on the same foundation you laid yours on. I think I need to work on my foundation as a Christian. Okay, Debbie, you know, um, I was wrong. Admit, I was too judgmental. Please forgive me. It's okay. <clears throat> You're forgiving. So, Debbie, please, I want to understand your own point of view. What do you mean we are not ready? What is holding you? Can't hold both of us. The vision is enough for both of us. Leave the vision aside and let's face reality. The vision is my reality. Look at this place. Yeah? Where are we? We're in church. What are we doing here? What do they do in church? <laughs> Maybe you should consider dividing the place. We can use the pulpit as the bedroom, the backstage as the kitchen, and the hall for the living room. Oh, oh say, why are you talking like this, Debbie? I, I, I told you I'm planning on getting a house. Getting a house is a reality. Getting a sustainable pay is a reality. So how realistic is your vision? How do you want me to answer this question? What is your monthly take-home pay? 50,000 Naira. 50,000 Naira is not enough to sustain a family. It's just for now, Debbie. Don't you believe God can upgrade me? Aside the fact, you will also work to, by the time we pull resources together, it will take us far. I'm not ready to go far with what you're driving with. But are you ready to go far with what is driving me? If you can drive us both comfortably, I'm fine with it. Okay. I'm actually working on getting a better job. They will call me next week for an interview. How much is the pay? A hundred and fifty thousand naira. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to make it a surprise. My dear, I'm going to pray about this. The job is yours. Amen. I'm so proud of you. We're going to do this. Oh, really? Yes. Your words keep encouraging me. <laughs> Actually, the Lord was dealing with me this morning about all our visions and ministry. Yes, yes, and that was why I, I was late. You know, the Lord showed me something, and, and it's like, uh, no, it's so amazing, so great. I, I really love it. The Lord was speaking to me in the book of Genesis chapter 13, and no, it was about the story of Abraham and Lot. And you know, Abraham and Lot. They could not stay together in the land because the land was too small to accommodate both of them. And you know, because Lot was actually a distraction to Abraham. And Abraham saw Lot as somebody who is not allowing him to receive the best from God because they have constant rifts and uh, a lot of disagreements. So Abraham decided to move the motion by, by leaving Lot. 
faith. Then it was, then there was a renewal of covenants. Then, then the Lord renewed the covenant for Habra. The Lord now told me that it's time for me to leave my Lord before he can open doors unto divine upliftment and ministerial breakthroughs. Okay, so who does these laws represent? She's the church. The church? Yeah, my church. The Lord is leading me to leave the church because the church has become a distraction, just as Lot was to Abraham. Hey, now the Lord is leading me to go into full time ministry. Okay, I can understand you wanting to leave the church. I have no issue with that actually. But God telling you to go into full time, what does that mean exactly? Debbie, you should understand, as in going to serve the Lord full time in ministry. Ah, what's going to happen to your job, especially the one hundred and fifty thousand naira salary we were pursuing? Debbie, I I resigned. You did what? I I I resigned. Like they called me, and I told him I was not interested. Even the one hundred and fifty thousand naira job, I told him I was not interested. They called you. Yes, they did. They offered you the job. They offered me the job. And you said that? Yes. We need money to run a home. We, we need God to run a home. The Lord will sustain us. The Lord should be working and doing some other things while I face the ministry full time. Oh, so you plan on banking on my income? Debbie, not that. And then, if, if, I'm going to back on God actually. If God needs your income, then so be it. John! Debbie. What is it? Can two work together except they agree? No, they can't. Then we can't work together. What do you mean? We are done! Don't, don't, don't with what? With what actually? Done with us! I don't, I don't understand. We are in a different frequency. We can't work. Debbie, our introduction is next week. A broken introduction is better than a broken marriage. Ha! Debbie! My, my, my mom has been calling. She calls every night. She can't wait to see you. Debbie, she calls you her daughter. I have a mother. So she's definitely not my mother. So tell her that I'm sorry, but her mind is made up. It's over. Debbie, that's too harsh. Sorry, sir. For some time now, I've been observing you. You've not touched your food. What's my problem? My fiance broke up with me. Oh. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm sorry. That must that must be a very painful thing, sir. Sorry. No, no, no. That's not you. I tell you, that's not you. <laughs> it's not beyond what God can handle. There are other things to deal with than to, than, than, than to waste my tear on oh. Tony's sister, my redeemer lives. God does not forsake me. He still loves me. God loves me. I know. I know. But I know. I, I will not waste a single tear. A single tear on the sister. No, I won't. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Why am thou forsaking me? Why? Why am thou forsaking me? I can't stand this anymore. I can't stand this anymore. I can't. No, I can't. I can't. I'm broken, Lord. I'm broken. I'm in place.
I like what I'm saying. Well, you like what you're saying. Like yes. yes. Please. <laughs> Anything that will make Brother John cry must be the passion for souls, the zeal for God's kingdom, and the state of the church. Brother John, hit us with the revelation. We want to share your tears. Sister David dumped me. Sister David dumped me. I, 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 I don't understand. So the good is for two years. She dumped me this morning. She called it great friends. I'm in place. well, my brother. We had dreams. Mm. We had visions. We had commitments. But she threw everything in the trash. She walked out of me. But, but John, but John, the Lord is your strength. Mm. This is where well. But John, you have to be strong. You have to move on. Eh? Where have I moving to? Uh, we are. I'm not you just have to be strong. See, do you know how many times I heard no when I was single? Many sisters said no to me. I heard no to the point that sisters in the church started calling me brother Noah. Did you hear that? Did you hear his testimony? Is that a testimony? Is that a testimony? You, you, you don't know what I'm passing through at this time. It does. Oh, John, oh, John, shake it off. Come on. Shake it off. Be man. How will I tell my mom? Our introduction is to be next week. How will I go? Uh, John, we'll cope. Sir, you will cope. See, when God closes the wrong door, the next course of action is to look for the right one. Take, take, sir. Pay your test. How am I going to cope? Eh? Relationship of two years flushed down the drain. Just like that.